Cube Vapes here, back at another video. If you haven't checked out my previous video regarding the Who's Your Daddy E-Juice range, be sure to check it out guys, links will be down in the description below. Alright, so bringing back to the Vape Expo in 2017, a few months back, was a success. And we've met a lot of new vendors which we haven't seen in the previous Expo vlog. So in this one, we're going to take a chunk of that Vape Expo and bring it into this video today. So today we'll be checking out a new vendor which we met at this vape expo and they are also known as endless mods uk the mods we'll be checking out are the slamm 34 millimeter along with the stackham 30m it's got a wide range of names different variants this is the brass version running at dual 26 650s they're not 18 650 guys dual 26 650s Brand new, different type of battery, something new for me, you know. It's a game changing revolution vape community we live in. And also, you can run it in a single 26 650 as well. This is in a black anodized um, finish. Alright, guys. So, a little bit more info about Endless Mods UK. I met them at an expo. They've been established since six months prototype so roughly around December 2015 and they are a very versatile competitive company which offer a wide range of um, RDAs tanks and mech mods so yeah really cool really excited they decided to partner with a Chinese facility and it keeps their prices competitive and reasonable for us consumers so Lovely, good job. Just want to give a good, big shout out to Big Tom. I met you at the expo along with Caramel Vapem and the whole of Endless Mod team. Nice to meet you guys and I'll be seeing you guys in October. Alright guys, welcome to the close up. As you can see I have two. Um, the black anodized and then the brass one. So we'll be checking out the brass one. Check out the packaging. So I received this at the expo. As you can see this says black, this should have been a brass colour, um, however they didn't, they sold the box or something like that, so they just gave me the black box. Not a problem, so we've got three vapors from the vape team, we've got Matt V Juice, we've got Caramel Vapes TMM and Stu Vapes, I actually met her at the expo, really good saleswoman, so yeah. So we've got Endless Mods UK, also on the side right here. Got the logo. And as much UK logo again. Check out the back. 106. Okay. Alright, so let's focus right now. Let's check out the box. So on the top here it's got all you need to know about their social media side, so their Instagram, their Facebook, and their wholesale. Also have like their hashtags and all that good stuff in the Smudge UK. So this is how you will receive it. First up, you get a bag of goodies, so spare O-rings, spare screws, and a screwdriver tool. It's a flathead. Forgot to mention these are the two other parts added into the kit. This is the plate to screw on your RDA and this is a, a spacer in between the dual 26 650s to make conductivity of both batteries. The actual tube itself, so this is the one I picked up. Serial number 67, as you can see it is shiny as hell. It's a fingerprint magnet, however, when you clean it properly, it's absolutely beautiful. So this is the innovative button, as you can see, got a logo on the bottom. It's actually locked like that, so you can, it will sit like that and it wouldn't fire. To fire it, you would bring it down, screw it down a bit, and then it will start protruding. However, you can actually take off the whole button 
and have it as a normal mech mod so so there's different variants different styles it's up to your preference but it's nice they added that feature onto it really impressed with that one made out of full brass beautiful next part is the cylinder stack tube right here matching serial number as well beautiful extension tube lovely and clean when I received it still keeping it as shiny as hell and last but not least this is the slamum 34 millimeter as you can see on the bottom matching serial numbers so it's beautiful wide airflow holes on both sides so slamming 34 wide board drip tip in brass as well take that off let's open it up all right Beautiful machinery right here. And here is the build deck, guys. So it's a two pulse, um, six screws. So you can add absolute enormous builds. Pulse in I'll here. be installing today are some juggernauts by my coil architect, handcrafted by John, also known as Coil Builder J VBC. So he has built me some juggernauts, 2x26 gauge by 36 gauge, 0.4 on a 4mm drill bit, measuring around 0.3 ohms. So they say you can safe build resistance is a 0.4, however you can build on a 0.3, so long as you know about your battery safeties and all that good stuff. If you're not too sure, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll get down back to you. So here's the coils. Beautiful. Look at Alright guys, so the build has been successfully installed. She looks amazing. You can see there's still so much more space if you want to build crazier builds. Measuring at 0 0.28 ohms. So the batteries I'm using are iJoy INR 26650s, 3.7 volts, 4200 ma, 40 amps running in dual that's 80 amps so you'll be within the safety limits so this is my first ever 26650 mod when i first saw these i was like wow you know, compared to your average 18650s so yeah so this is how you install it properly. So first up, you would put on the RDA onto the, the plate. Then you would install this onto the staffing. You then install the dirty tube on the bottom. First you'll slot in one battery. Make sure you use your spacer. Otherwise you'll feel like there's a battery rattle and it would never make contact, like connectivity. So make sure that spacer is inside there first another second battery in and also you can always fluctuate on how you adjust this one as well all right guys so the tweaking has been done so this is what you want you want it to glow from the middle and outwards like that beautiful all right guys we're gonna wick it up and we'll juice it up and then we'll vape on it. All right, guys. So for the single tube, I'm running the Vape Think 24 gauge camphor. 
It's just a basic 5 rep, dual 5 rep measuring at 0 0.13 ohms. The cotton I'll be using today is some Kurin Jockey. It's Japan's 100% organic cotton. Shout out to Mobs Jerome and Steve Vincent. What I used to do before, take out the outer layers, and you're left with this nice, lovely cotton. Lovely, ready to go. The juice I'll be using for this review today is Twister Lollies by Rockstar Vape. It's a new e juice company. It started about three months ago, and they are going for the bigger bottles so. It's 120 ml with nicotine shots, 100 ml by itself with no nicotine shots, 0 milligrams. Very affordable prices. They mainly focus on no minimum spend on their websites. There's free shipping regardless if you spend £5 or £100. They're really good at looking for wholesales and all that good stuff at competitive prices. Shout out to Vape Central 90 on Instagram, also known as Kieran, for recommending me this juice company. Twister lollies, just like the good old ice lollies, man. I tried a lot of different variants, my personal favorite flavor. Let's give it a shot. All right, guys, so the single and stacked tubes have been built. So we got a 0 0.28 dual juggernauts, nine reps on the stacked. And a dual five wrap vape think 24 gauge camphor ohming around 0 0.13. So it's time to juice it up and we'll bring it back to FaceTime to vape. All right, guys, welcome back to FaceTime. So, this is probably the moment you guys have been waiting for. If you haven't seen on my Instagram, absolutely amazing. Here. An endless mod has created has the 26650 mod. Here's the single. Here is the stacked version. This is running at zero. So that video on my Instagram has hit 8,800 views, 300 plus likes or something. It's absolutely crazy. The amount of support and you guys are fascinated about these mods. So first up, single tube. Vapor production is really nice. So I'm going to try competition style, zero nicotine. Let's see how she vapes. Airflow holds wide open, guys. Wow, <laughs> that's a single tube, guys. Absolute beast, bloody hell. Absolute monster clouds, guys. Really nice flavors. I really taste all the flavors. It's their version of it. I actually kind of like it. Um, me personally, I'm a three milligram, so I will add some nicotine shots into it to make it my preferred level. But I'm just showing you um, these that these mods are known to be for competitions. So. Just doing it as a zero milligram so you don't I'm not coughing or nothing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here's the stacked. Alright. Yeah. By the way, this RDA holds a lot of juice. See how she vapes, guys. Core blimey. <laughs> Absolute amazing. Bloody hell. So 
So there we have it guys, the single and the stacked version of the Endless Mods UK 34mm Slamems, 30ms, Stackems, whatever you want to call it. Absolutely amazing guys. Just want to give a big shout out to Matt, the owner of Vapor Easy Limited. I had a big problem with my black anodized version and so I sent it back to him, showed him the problems and he actually sent me a new one. So absolutely amazing. All right, so the pros and the cons. Pros, it's the first ever 26650 mod, which can run single or stacked. So with a single, you will need a build around 0 0.1, like just like your normal mech mods. Stacked versions, they recommend 0 0.4 and above, but you can rock, like myself, 0 0.28, 2, 0 0.3, 0.32s, blah, blah, blah. As long as you know about your ohms laws and your battery safety. Also, I like the, the button on the bottom, the firing button. If I was to close it up and leave it on the table, it wouldn't fire. However, it does have a pushy bit, which is really good. And you bring it down, it would fire like a normal. And if you were to take it off, like that, then yeah, it would fire like a normal RDA, or mech mod, I should say. So absolutely amazing, your preference. Innovative design, really cool. Also, the packaging, really nice, like the box. Absolutely amazing. Price points for the black anodized, it goes for around $169.99. The brass goes for $179.99. Full brass is very, for me, it's all right. Sometimes it can be a bit heavy. Sometimes I don't really want to carry it. And that's when I opt for the black anodized version. It's very light, feels really nice, really good. So it's just your preference. Any any cons, to be honest, I can't really fault any problems on it. All right guys, so we're gonna talk about the pros and cons on Rockstar V. A little bit more information about them. They've been in the game for three months, so they're relatively new, and they saw a gap in the market, and the vape community is there to support them. All right, so, pro number one, they got loads of different varieties of flavors. Really good, really important. They got your menthols, your tobacco flavors, your sweets, all that good stuff. Pro number two, no matter how much you spend on the website, free delivery. Very good, tick in my book, a lot of ticks in the vape community. People doesn't don't wanna spend 25 pounds for free delivery, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever. So any, any price, free delivery, really good. Really like that. Another pro is price point on the juice. Really good. Uh, this is a twelve ninety nine, I believe, retail on their sh on their website. You get hundred ml with two nicotine shots. You bang those in, one hundred and twenty ml, ten ml each of those nicotine shots, makes it a three milligrams. Really good. Um, depending on what nicotine strength you smoke, I believe they add more nicotine shots and they decrease on the actual limit or how much you actually get of the juice. So yeah, really good. Um, Another pro, the flavour. Not too bad, not too shabby. It's pretty decent. I've tried maybe five to ten different Twister lollies out there or Twister in general. Um, I probably can say right right about now, it's within the top five. So not too bad, not too shabby. Um, the only con, and this con would affect a lot of vapors out there, steeping process. And that is a main issue on these juices. So regardless if you buy any juice, they'll give it to you in a zero nicotine, which is, you know, keep t keeping it TPD compliant, which is really good. However, if, for me, mom, like myself, I've added the two nicotine shots inside. And me personally, I don't vape a zero. But for the purpose of this video, I vape to zero. And the flavor is not too bad, but me, I like that sort of throat hit and that nicotine hit. So right now, I have to leave this to steep by itself in a dark cupboard for up to two to four weeks to get the best flavor. And for me personally, I don't like waiting. I hate it so much. Um, that's gonna affect a lot of vapors out there. 
because they want juices that are pre-steeped already or already steeped and as soon as you add it in, boom, sorted. So that's the only negative about Rockstar Vape. Apart from that, everything else is all really good. Definitely go check them out guys. I'll be sure to link it down in the description below of their websites and all that good stuff along with their Instagram and everything to do with endless mods, the single and the stack tube. Be sure to give them some love. Give them all love guys. Really good companies out there. And thank you to Big Tom for hooking me up with a snapback as well for the purpose of this review. Alright guys, so it's been your boy Mr. Chew Vapes. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, comment, rate and subscribe. Sorry, if I, sorry about posting a bit later than usual. Just giving it time for the videos to grow and my channel to grow as always. But yeah, see you guys in the next video guys. Peace.